Hey, thanks for coming again to see Darlene Schaefer here, owner of Relica Vintage. And today I'm going to show you how you can save an antique uh, and not have to throw it away just because it has a chip in it. I have some different products that are really nice to use and uh, I'm going to run through that right now. These pieces. This is a little china that I just really love. And I, when I bought it, I did notice that it had this little chip in it. And normally, of course, I, you know, most people on an antique would pass something like this by. But this was just such a pretty little piece, I just didn't want to see it um, go to landfill. So we're going to work on that one. And then also, this other piece right here uh, is a little Victorian piece that's all china painted as well. And um, it has some damage here. Some of the little things here are um, have some chips, and there's a little chip right here. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and you go ahead and try to fix that today. So the product that I use is a really great product, and I've used this a lot in my art. And it's called Epoxy Sculpt, and it's two parts. And what you're going to do is get a little bit of each, and a little bit goes a long way. And you don't want to get these mixed up because when they mix together they harden. So you want to get enough of a piece out and they need to be about the same amount of stuff to put together. And then you, it's kind of gum like and you go ahead and squeeze it together and roll it and blend it. Basically you're just going to blend it quite a bit. And these lids don't necessarily have to be on. The product doesn't um, dry out um, until you've got this going together. And uh, it lasts, you have about three hours of working time. So say you wanted to use this as a sculptural element, you'd have about three hours to work on it. And it does say on the product that it takes about 24 hours to become completely um, hardened. And it literally becomes as hard as a rock, probably harder than the ceramic that we're even putting it on. And um, you would be able to sand it or scrape it or anything of that nature. So uh, the next thing you're going to do is get, I have this little um, ceramic tool and I use this for ceramics, but it's also really great for using with uh, the epoxy sculpt and you'll take off a little piece and we'll see if you're able to see this hopefully and I'm going to get that on there and recreate that little wing um, and you kind of want to get it all the way around so that it's really stuck on there really good and bonded and then you can take your tool and you want to make it meld as much as possible so that it looks like the original piece, which is fairly hard to do with the epoxy sculpt if you're working with a ceramic piece because the ceramic is going to be so smooth, but you can get it like pretty good. So there's that one. And then we'll also work on this little chip right here. Get a little piece of the epoxy sculpt. And get it on there. My lovely dog is barking at somebody walking by the window. So you get this going, and I can't really see on that side, but I'm trying to work it in so that it becomes like it's part of um, the cup and fills in that crack. So now normally once this happens, I would get it the way I want it. And then I'll just let it sit for the 24 hours. And then I'll come back in and sand it and get it nice and even with that. But since it does take 24 hours, um, 
I'm just going to go right into the painting part. And if you're satisfied with the result that you have on this um, piece, you can go right into the painting because it doesn't matter whether you paint on this stuff, whether it's wet or dry, um, that doesn't really make much of a difference unless you want to sand it before you paint it. So sometimes when you have um, these little delicate um, rose petals on things like this, they're so easily chipped and um, just Taking a little piece of sandpaper of a pretty heavy grit will, um, if you get on there and work it a little bit, you should be able to sand it down enough to make it round it out again. And then we'll touch it up with a little bit of paint. See how that's getting much softer on that chip and you're not noticing it as much? Because this, if it has a lot of times with ceramics, if it has a soft edge, uh, you're going to be able to go ahead and um, sand it out to make it look a lot nicer than it was before when it got chipped. It's looking pretty good. It might take you a little while. And if your ceramic piece is too, is more of a high fired piece, it's probably going to be difficult to sand that. So you'll have to be really patient with it and keep working on it. So the art of mixing paint can be a little tricky. Um, I have a degree in art, so I do know how to mix colors, but a lot of times an easy way to do it because in the craft store there's really a, walls and walls of craft paint and you could take your little piece to the craft store and try to just kind of see if you can match the color. Now to me this color is a little bit darker than what this purple is on the wing but um, if I add a little bit of white to it I, I feel like I've gotten the color that I was looking for. So I've got it here and I mix that in there and I add some white to it and the way to check it like this is on a black background but if you check it over here on the white you can kind of see where it's going to show you more of what the color is and as you can see that that matches pretty well so I'm going to go ahead and touch this up with that color and you can use a hair dryer on that if you want to have it dry fast and you'll just touch it up with a couple of coats of paint and match it up. And you want to try to keep it off of, you know, the rest of the piece if you can. And you might need a little Q-tip or something. I'll use this right here for now. And you also want to make sure you do the back side too because you want to try to fix the piece as best as you can so that it looks pretty professional. Um, and you can feel good about fixing it and this would have originally been painted on the back side as well so don't forget that and like this little area right here looks like it could use a little bit of paint now I'm painting this on the clay the epoxy sculpt while it's still wet um, but I would probably recommend going ahead and letting it dry 24 hours, doing a little bit of sanding, especially if you have never done something like this before. It'll give you a lot smoother edge and smoother graduation in between lines, so you'll see less and less of the actual fix-up job. Cool. So literally, I have saved this piece from the dump. So this is an awesome piece that I found, and I know it's kind of a funny piece, but it's a very old...